strawberry. A long time ago, a traveler told me that in the town of Pearl, they have a great big festival every year. I sure would love to go to that festival. <laughs> you kind of look like that traveler now that I think about it. Oh, that's our dad! No, our dad's still around. Somewhere. I should give you something to hint regarding your next step, though. Let's see, Will at GG Village. Go, my young one. Oh. Oh, it's the husky. You know, I'm surprised I would see a husky in the desert. But, weirder things are possible. Ah, you called? I certainly did. Because Bill does not want you to be part of the gang anymore. Huh. Alright. It's a message from Bill, huh? You know, just because he said that you're the leader, doesn't really make you the leader. Get me? I respect dogs that are fast. So, if you want my respect, you gotta earn it by winning against me in a race. Racing! Alright, ready. And set. Go. Through the tree line we go. Oh yeah, so the ending point's over that way. Ow. Ow. Run, 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 run! Ah, ha, ha. There you are. Had to do a double around the final flag, but we got there. Ah, wow, you are fast. I lose. And we got his badge. Nice. Oh, there you are. Ah, hello, traveler. That'd be suicide to go into the North Sandy Desert right now. Oh, why is that? Ah, oh, this desert is a lot of sandstorms. It's lots of parts with sled and sand. I used to have a hard time dealing with the sand for us so long. Especially that big sliding sand. That blocks the road to the dry valley. But there is quick sand sticks. But there is a quick sand stick to take care of this problem. Hey. So, I searched everywhere. And finally found the stick. It's a magical stick, you know. Ah, uh, yes, it was a real find. Because with it, we were able to calm the sandstorms and sliding sands. But we lost it in the desert on the way to the village. And if I don't find it, I won't be able to get home. Hey, I can help you with that. I need to go over there. Yeah, sure, I need to go to the dry valley. So we can help each other out. Ah, you're so helpful. Uh, here, this is what the quick sand stick smells like. Quick sand cane. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, those snakes back when I was a kid, those absolutely terrified me. Because they keep moving around, and they are pretty deadly once you get hit by them. And looks like it leads to here. Cool, actually, we got it. So now we just have to go drink up and go back to the guy. Alright, got the stick. Oh, oh, I can't thank you enough. With this, I can calm those sled and sands. Village folks can have access to the other towns. Yeah, no. Always good to have. Oh! Magic in the air. And the sand is complete. No more shifting sands for us. Thanks, Boris. I definitely will. Oh, actually, hey, that's the guy we need. Ah, Wilbur. 
Oh, hi there. I'm Wilbur. Hey, you know what a star festival is? I don't. Actually, no, wasn't that the thing at the very beginning of the game? Ah, appreciation nature, nature is what a star festival is all about. Only a dog with a special skills called a Snuff Master can host the festival. And a Snuff Master uses a magic item called the Stone of the Heavens. And then, we fly something into the sky to show our appreciation to nature. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it actually sounds pretty cool. Yeah, first dog ever to join me in my efforts to bring back that festival. So, I want you to do something for me. Not a good way to help someone at the start of friendship, but alright. Sure, I can help you out. We're in need of some burning water. We need it for a hot air balloon. I must say that the burning water exists in a dry valley. I guess, yeah, if the water would be so hot in the dry valley, that's probably why it's dry. Can you go bring me some? Uh, sure. It smells like this. Burning scent of water. Together, yeah, well, we're about the tradition of having a star festival. Ah, thank you, bud. Oh, yeah, you're welcome, Will. Ah, oh, it's the bad Peter. Alright, what do you want? I'm just going right up to her and tell her that I like her. Eh, yeah, that's typically what you're supposed to do. Yeah, good for you, Peter, taking those smart moves. But uh, when I do that, I want to give her some special hiss of this flower. I say it grows in the North Sandy Desert. Oh, I need to figure out exactly what I'm going to say to her. So, I'll be busy for a while. So, hey, could you please find that flower for me? You know... It's going to be more problematic for you to just loll over these words that you're saying, and especially when you're not doing anything to do that. But, you know, I'm sure getting this flower is going to... I don't know, you probably should be the one to get the flower, but I guess I can help you out. Ah, thanks a million. You're welcome, just... When this crash and burns, I hope you take some time to reflect. Yeah, it's this guy. Oh, holla. Huh. Oh, what's wrong, bud? Uh, there are things that we must try to forget when we become adults. Yep. Taxes are one of them. You know, I used to be, well, a ringmaster. A ringmaster of the traveling circus called Cirque de Bonjour. You know what Circus de Bonjour means? Circus of Happiness, that's what it means. And the Ringmaster is, well, the leader of the circus. But there was a day, you know, one day I wasn't paying enough attention. Not because of me, one of the boys got injured. Ever since then, I've been like this. I lost all the will to do anything. The boys left the circus act. I lost my Ringmaster's outfit. I'm worthless. I'm a worthless dog. I know, I know. Oh, come on. I'm sure you're worth something. I'm sure you got the kidneys or something you could sell off. Oh, it's about my ringmaster's outfit. Oh, yeah, I dropped a while back when I was being chased by a buffalo. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. Ooh. Looks like... Uh, ooh. Actually, that looks like a nice outfit. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, it looks like, uh, the western side of America. Like the Utah state. Hi, Mr. Buffalo. Aw, uh, look at that little face. Uh, can you get a like, close-up on it? Me and the boys at 3 o'clock. Passed out. Yeah, he's not happy. What you want, bud? Yeah, I know, I see ya. What you gonna do about it? Oh. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do. Uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Got the burning water. That's 
it's weird. It has like a blind spot area. Bop, bop. <laughs> Dude, hang on, give me a second. Jesus. <laughs> Fucking jump scare right there. Where did that guy come from? I'm gonna guess that's the buffalo we need to kill. Uh, if not, I'm going to do it anyways. Surprisingly close to the rune village area. I don't know what this guy was doing when he was running. I guess he was just as panicked as I was with the buffalo. Oh, the totem poles look pretty cool. Here, let's pick this up and then we can go check it out. Alright, here it is. Wow, that just... that took a lot. Oh, it's like little different dog faces. That's cute. And... up. Oh, hold on right there. That's the thing you've been s that thing you have there. It's it's my my it's my ringmaster's outfit. Oh, I can't believe this. Glad to help you. I, I have to say, it cost me an arm and a leg to get this back. Literally, because the buffalo gored me a couple of times. <laughs> oh, we can help him out some more. Ah, Circus Dave, bonjour. Strikes back. No, that sounds like it's just the same and all over again. It's a new circus, an all new one, you know? Hey, Mav, I'm gonna need your help. Sure, what can I help with? Ah, uh, what do the people want to see most in a circus? Uh, I don't know. Probably not clowns. That's right, a beast show! Sure. I see. I'm gonna need a beast. But you know, a real one. That would... You know, a real one. That would be too dangerous to have in a circus. So, I need you to find me a gentle beast. Contradictory, but something we can do. Alright, you know, there's no such thing. You'd think there's no such thing as a gentle beast, right? Actually, no, we saw the vegetarian polar bear up in the polar ice caps. I'm sure we can go find him. Even some. Uh, you know, I already lost part of my kidney to the buffalo, and now I'm gonna lose my arm to a bear. Here's your special flower. Ah, uh, yippee. Ah, thank you. Let's go see Amelia. Uh oh, I don't want to be a part of this. Although, it would be nice to see him get broken up. Oh, hey, what's up? Well, Peter has something he wants to tell you. Uh, hold on. I'll tell her myself. Um... Oh, come on already, man. Just spit it out. I, I... Amelia? Yes? I, I like, I like, I like you. I mean, I'm in love with you. Mm -hmm, get some popcorn, the drama's happening. In love? Hey, yes. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't feel the same way about you. Oh, I have, I have feelings for someone else. Oh, rejected. Okay, d don't worry about it. Oh, here's your burning water. Ah, thanks, buddy. Yes, that's the burning water that we needed. Look at it, I can make a hot air balloon. We're just one step closer to reviving the Star Festival. Yippee. Ah, thanks, bud. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Ooh. Ah, take me away. Hooray! Right, you say my flying balloon? It's really flying! 
Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. That's not good. Oh, and there's Noble. Oh, hey. You're different. Oh, you're pink. Hi there, Mr. Bear. Lovely shot there. So well, that's the gentle bear, huh? Those are really harmless. I mean, it's not gonna chomp us the second we're close enough, is it? Uh, I don't know, Peter. It might. Hey, wait. Uh, watch out. It's gonna eat ya. Run for the hills. Aww. Grrr. Oh, come on, if we don't get out of here, that's gonna make snacks out of us. Huh? What's going on here? What's wrong? You know, I got a stomach egg or something? That's pretty painful. No, oh, that's not it. I'm just hungry. I'm so hungry, I can't even move. Hey, it talks. So are you really one of those gentle bears? Yeah, you talk too, bud. Yep, I sure am. All my relatives and I only eat honey. And it's been that way for ages now. Oh, he's part of the vegetarian squad. We're all vegetarians. Yo, that's the polar bear's brother. Oh, there's a guy. Aww. Oh, all right, hold on, you did it. That's the giant bear, that's the gentle bear, just what I needed. He looks dangerous, but I'm sure he's gentle. Look at those gentle eyes. Uh oh, I'm just sure this guy's a winner. Three years, give me three years and I'll turn my circus into the best circus ever. Thanks to you, I'm one step closer to making this new circus. Because I think... If this is what I think it is... It is! Ooh! Okay, hang on a minute. Hi, Amelia. Hi, sweetie. It's sunny. Let's go outside on a date. <laughs> oh. Oh, you don't know what a date is. I do, too. Ah, going out on a date means that a boy and a girl go out to have fun together. Well, once again, this was back in ye old Stone Age days of 2007. Uh, since then, things have changed, but... Alright, let's go on for this. So, would you like to go on a date with me? And a funny thing about this, if you say no... ...and reject her... ...I see. He, for the rest of the game, will just have that dialogue. And you start feeling sad about yourself for it. Which is really funny. It also locks you out of a quest, I'm pretty sure. So you are kind of forced to have a girlfriend in this. If you want 100%. Hi, sweetie. It's Sunny. Let's go outside on a date. Uh, excuse me? Oh, you don't know what a date is. Oh, I do too. Going out on a date means you go out together and have fun. Yeah. So would you like to go out on a date with me? Ah, uh, you know what? It's Tuesday. I'm... I don't really have much else to do, so sure, why not? Alright, let's go. That's a lot of space. Ah, it was fun. Yeah, I like spending six feet apart and away from you. Ah, it's getting dark. We should go home. See you tomorrow, sweetie. Ah, uh, yeah, see you tomorrow.